The text tool will let us add text to our artwork. To use this tool, just click on the canvas wherever you want to insert text and type away. Select that text just like you would in any text editing application, and you can use the font properties to change the font, font size, alignment, text color, and so on. I can enter numeric values, or I can move the sliders. I can also hold down control to make the sliders move more precisely. When I create text on my canvas, a text layer is created in the layers panel. To edit the text, you must click on the text layer and select the text with the text tool. There are also options to control the appearance of the text, such as color, opacity, and composite method. Options can be applied to the text and drop shadow independently of each other. With the text layer selected and the text highlighted, I'm going to enable text attributes. I'll choose red for my text color. I can also lower the opacity of the text to make it slightly transparent. I'll go ahead and leave the opacity at 100%. If I change the composite method to overlay, that changes how the text blends with the background. I'll change the composite method back to default. There are also options to add a shadow to your text. By default, no shadow is selected, but you can also add an external or internal shadow. I'll choose external shadow and I'll enable the shadow attributes options. Now we can change the opacity of the shadow separately from the text opacity. You can also change the composite method of the shadow, but it doesn't have any effect since the shadow color cannot be changed. You can change the angle and distance of the shadow by going to the layer adjuster tool and then dragging on the shadow to reposition it. You may need to zoom in to reach the shadow if the text is small. There are even more options available if you click on the T icon under advanced in the properties bar. That will bring up the text panel, which has all of the controls you can use to manipulate text in Corel Painter. The text panel will make changes to the currently selected text layer. You can apply changes to a text layer by clicking the text panel rather than selecting the text tool. For example, I'll disable the shadow. Since this course is primarily focused on learning illustration skills, I won't be going in depth into working with text. However, if I were going to create text for a book layout, then I would save my document as a PSD and then open it in Photoshop or Illustrator to add text since those applications offer more control over text properties and layout. You can also edit your text with the other tools in Painter. I'll right click on the text layer and duplicate it. If I attempt to paint on a text layer or transform it, a warning will appear that says the text layer will be converted into a default layer. That means the text and text properties of this layer will no longer be editable. By default, text is in vector format, which means it can be enlarged to any size without losing quality. As soon as we click commit, the vector font is converted to pixels with a resolution that is defined by the document resolution. If you zoom in, you can see the pixel font looks jagged compared to the vector font, which has infinite resolution. I'll hide the bottommost duplicate of the red text so we aren't seeing both. As pixels, the text is no longer editable with the text tool, but it can be edited with the brushes and erasers. For example, you could select a blender, like Blur Diffuser, and then you could blend the text. Once the text has been converted to pixels, you can also free transform it. However, when we do that, the image quality may suffer since the text is no longer in vector format. I'll revert this template. 